Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we got new format pendulums. New format testing. Five matches of pendulums. If you guys are ready for the video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Also, go on tripgaming.com. Got a few old fan favorites back in stock. Like a server playmat and a sleep playmat. So go check it out right now. Anyways, let's get started, boys. It's time to destroy the meta with pendulums. Let's go. <laughs> So match number one over here, and in all the matches I'm going to show you guys, going to be five matches. There's going to be a lot for you guys to learn and really figure out how to play. So my hand here, as you see, I'm playing Fairy Tail Luna, which I still think if you're playing Mythical Beast, you have to play Luna, in my firm opinion. Luna Searching Reflection. Reflection is very good with the Mythical Beasts, but if you're playing Pure and Demon without the, uh, without the Mythical Beasts, don't play Luna because Reflection's not that good in that. Anyways... Let's go, boys. Let's go. So we're going to go Luna. He's going to Imperm. The reason why he does, doesn't uh, save the Imperm with the Nibiru is if you see a Luna, you don't think you're facing against uh, a combo deck. You think you're facing against some control deck that's going to go like Luna set five. You know what I mean? Luna is a control card, uh, not a combo card. So he did not expect me to be playing Pendulums. So you could uh, mind fuck with people like that. So he doesn't save the Nibiru Imperm. Next, I'm going to go Cerberus, get Jackal. And you're going to really see how good this is actually going to end up being. So... I'm going to go Secrets here. I'm going to go for Knowledge. I'm going to Knowledge away the Luna. So this is a really cool part of Luna. Is that you add a Reflection if you need it. Uh, and then you just Knowledge or Wonder Wand it away. And then you Selene it back. So it's really cool how it all works out together. Uh, Cerberus is going to have like 20 counters by the end of this. And here you're going to see how powerful these new cards are. With addition of cards like Wonder Wand and Luna. How good they really are. So I have an opportunity here. If I want to keep this Magician Souls, I can. And I could just use Souls to send Wonder Wand for one. That's the cool thing about Knowledge. Knowledge does get rid of the card. Wonder One, you have the opportunity. If instead of drawing two, you can just use Wonder the Souls Effect to draw one. It's an equal amount, but you keep one extender on the field. This ensures that your draw two has one extender. Does that make sense? So uh, we're gonna use Souls here to draw. Uh, sorry, we're gonna use Wonder One to send it because I know I'm gonna have Servant as an extender if I need it. I got Chrono here for Time Gazer. I was about to special Chrono on Master, but it's susceptible to Nibiru. So clearly, good thing I didn't do that. And then I put Mighty Master, I Resolve Servant to bring out Jackal. And then uh, if he uses Nibiru anytime he's dead, he's going to use it anyways, thinking, well, I'm just going to forget to use the Jackal. Hell nah. I'm going to use Master Effect to pop the Servant, put it back in scale. Now in this scenario, I'm just going to go into Selene. I'm not even going to use Selene's effect. I'm just going to get a free Link 3 for nothing. A lot of times you got to understand when you're Link Summoning, try and get free Link Summons. You, like the cards you're putting are going into the extra deck. So sometimes you can get a free Link 1. Uh, just by link summoning before your pendulum summon. So just be wary of that, guys. And uh, here, we're just going to link those with the Masquerina. I'm going to trigger this lead effect. I didn't use that. Bring up Absolute, Crash Vortex. And then uh, just put up a solid board here, five negates. And he's just going to scoop here and say, says, uh, gotta go. Well, yeah, when you face the pen god, yeah, people gotta go. They gotta go to the losing place, baby! Because you ain't going to win against me! Or against you if you guys are playing my deck. Let's go to the next match now. As you guys saw, that match ended a little early, just one game. He had too much, uh, seen too much power of the Pen God and knew there was no chance. Here we're gonna go into Luna, and Luna, this is gonna show the power of Luna. Uh, or we win the dice roll, we go Citadel. Citadel, honestly, is fucking trash. I cut it out of my deck right after this match. Uh, Citadel's just ass. We're gonna go up Doctor to search Mighty Master. We're gonna do some cool plays here. So I, get, I just Pendulum. Uh, four cards. I make sure that the Citadel gives me enough counters for Jackal. If this is any other spell card, it would have been the same result. Uh, then we go Absolute. We're going to do a cool play here. We go Crash Vortex. Okay, so I realized something that I did not have knowledge yet. So I, I don't go knowledge right away. I opt to ensure that my plays are safe. And now I knowledge afterwards with my Selene and Master that I'm putting in the extra deck, knowing very well that Citadel's at two counters. So if I draw into Secrets or Knowledge, I can't blue work, it's already normal summon Luna. If I draw into Secrets or Knowledge, my Magister's gonna resolve, and I can bring out this Mighty Master. So, uh, I Crowley a little after. You You could Crowley after your Pen Summon, you don't need to do it right away. I get into Knowledge, so I go Selene, then bring out a Luna, I Knowledge away the Luna. How many times did I summon out Luna, bro? This card's insane. I go, uh, now my Magister has enough counters, but I'm like, yo, I have ma uh, Mastery, I could just resolve Magister the normal way. I go Magister, bring up Mighty Master. I bring up Mighty Master to pop Abductor. I didn't need to pop Abductor, that was a mistake. I could have just popped Citadel and Citadel protect itself. But uh, yeah, my for some reason I thought he was playing Sky Striker, so I just wanted to have as many spell counter cards as possible. Also, I'm gonna need to free up my zones to have Magister be in a gate and Selene be in a gate. So I want my Mighty Masters to be able to bounce themselves back. That way I could pop the cards, uh, bring cards under the zones. 
And I don't even know why he attempts to play through this. I don't even know why he's playing Gravedigger Trap Hole. But you shouldn't try to play again on seven, uh, six negates here. When clearly your hand is not playing through six negates. He should have just scooped. Uh, so I don't know what he's playing. Uh, but obviously I'm just going to negate everything. Magister Bounce. Easy game, boys. We're going to go to game two now. So game two is going to be a little more interesting. You guys are going to see he's playing a very cool tech card. Uh, when I saw this, I was like, bro, what are you doing? But pen best deck, so it doesn't matter. My hand's insane. Uh, I'm playing through any prank kid board. I don't need any side cards. <laughs> swords are really like there fucking is, boys. I saw swords. I'm like, in the post replay, I'm like, what the hell is this guy playing? He's trying to big brain me into some random, like, swords are really like combo with prank kids. I'm like, bro, that's like, literally, you just lost the card. You might as well play sparks. They're both the same card. Uh, they do nothing for you. Anyways, so uh, he's gonna get his card. He has set, so I, all I gotta do is Pandemonium. He draws into Takobo a little late. I have Dark Roller. I really don't need the Dark Roller. One Fairy Tail Luna outs that card alone. So I'll show you guys how to defeat it. I, I don't have Luna, but Luna has a lot of uh, plays against this deck. So here's the knowledge. I'm gonna draw a little bit. Uh, I draw. This is another way to stop this. He only has one set, okay? So I have Pendulum and Mighty Master and a Jackal. Jackal couldn't get any Valor he has in his hand, and Mighty Master only gets Pandemonium. He's absolutely forced to use that, that, that card right now. If he doesn't, I just negate it. So that, that, that's a cool trick against Prank Kid. Just search Mighty Master and put Scales, and they'll instantly use that card. And then you hit them with a Kaiju. You hit them with a Fairy Tail Luna. They only play one of this guy. So you Fairy Tail Luna, even if they play two, it doesn't matter. Reflection Bounce. And then continue playing as if nothing happened. Mighty Master destroy everything without having any monsters on board. So, or Dark Ruler in this scenario. So I just Dark Ruler him because like you know what? I don't really care. I'm just gonna destroy his board and put up six negates. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna Dark Ruler everything. I'm just gonna put up six negates. And there's no way he's playing through that. And I'm gonna make sure to pop that sword of Reeling Light just for the lulls. Uh, I, I Dark Ruler everything. Uh, Pen summon. This is just game, boys. This is just game. I'm gonna go Souls. I'm gonna send. Easy. I'm just gonna put up classic pendulum plays, Magister effect. That's match number two. So obviously this is just the beginning when rated, when rated started. That's why he's playing swords. But as we keep playing on rated, we're gonna face better people. The rated system just started, so we're facing people that play swords in their deck. We're gonna go into match three number now. Uh, number three. So if you, before I get into the next three matches, the, comment down below, boys. I, I, what's getting my record after five matches? Am I gonna go five zero, four one? 3-2, let's check. This is another awesome match. It's gonna showcase some very cool plays. Uh, so here we're facing off against a Sky Striker deck. He made me go first. Uh, he won the dice roll, but made me go first. I think he won the dice roll. And uh, then I'm gonna go, that's what's gonna happen a lot this format. As you see here, you don't really care. Desire is gonna get Ashed for sure. So I got Valor and Ashed. I'm like, fuck, this is not good for me whatsoever. I go into Crowley, I knowledge to draw two. I get Institution, I get Magister. So all I can really do, do here is Pendulum and Jackal. Uh, but that's gonna be totally fine by me. I know he's playing striker because he made me go second uh, Sorry, he made me go first and sky strikers are blind second uh, all the time uh, sky strikers going first do literally nothing They end on one interruption pass. So here. I'm just gonna kill him easily uh, a cool way under mystic minds This is a really cool replay to show you guys how to play around mystic mind I use magister to bring a jackal freeing up a scale. It doesn't activate the whole spot counters in the field so I free up my, my scales uh, and put Mighty Master to blow up the mine. And this is four summons at the moment. So even if he has Nibiru, he can't kill me. Uh, and then when Mighty Master pops the mine, I'm going to pop my own card as well to ensure I have enough counters for Jackal to get a nib because Master will be the fifth summon. And that'll be game. He just quits the duel. We're going to show you guys the next match uh, where I'll be going second. So I'll be going second in this match. This match, I am uh, facing off against Burning Abyss Trap. So Trap Burning Abyss. He starts off with a solid hand here. He has tour guide and he has a lot of extenders. I'm gonna let him see what he could do here. Uh, he's gonna go Dante. He's gonna put up the classic board that BA puts up. This is Mascarena with Beatrice with a lot of plus and a trap card. So I'm dealing with three interruptions. I'm dealing with a Farfa. I'm dealing with a uni Nightmare Unicorn. And I'm dealing with uh, uh, any card shuffle from my deck. So that means my Celine is kind of dead and my restages are dead. So hopefully I don't draw into a restage. At the moment, this is looking pretty solid. I'm going to show you guys how absolutely easy it is for you to just steamroll against all meta decks. And this board here, we are thinking like, wow, bro, it's only three interruptions, man. He only puts up a, a car, uh, Farfa. He only puts up a Farfa that banishes. He only puts up a Unicorn. And he only puts up a card from Graveyard. Well, guess what? Look at every deck this format. Uh, you could picture Farfa as like a Salaman Great Roar. You could picture Unicorn. Like, Unicorn is like a Valor. You get picture uh, this is like a DD Crow. That's your typical Salamangre board of three interruptions. Two shit hand traps and like a fucking Salamangre Rage or some shit or a Roar. So look at Sky Striker. You're only dealing with a Widow Anchor and like a Ghost Spell, you know? 
So this is your classic board you're facing this format. This format, decks do not put up a lot of interruptions. So going second, Pendulum steamrolls against these decks. So what are we going to do here? We're going to activate the fucking GOAT, bro. Fairy tale fucking Luna. You guys are going to see just how good this card is going second. So I'm going to use Luna effect here to search. He obviously can't negate. I'm getting, I'm searching another Luna. This is a reflection because I know just how damn good this card is against a BA deck. So next, I have a lot of options here. I say enter battle. No way he's going to change. Use Farfa. So what do I do? I let him waste the Farfa. I tell him he sends Farfa. I uh, use Luna effect to targeting the Mascarena, forcing him to chain the Mascarena. Forcing him to do that. Chain resolves, Luna gets banished, and it just comes back next turn as another interruption. I baited two cards, a Mascarena and a Beatrice, with one Luna, and that Luna gives me a card back in my hand. I'm still at six cards. The Luna just brought itself back. I'm still at six cards. And I got two of his interruptions. Luna does this against a lot of decks, especially being 1850. I can normal a Luna against Salamangrate, use its effect to add, I can enter battle, attack a wolf, uh, he'll protect, I use the effect to bounce send wolf to the graveyard, now he's all out of wolves for the entire game, and he can't no longer go into wolf, Luna's insane, I'm gonna go into my, he's gonna add from uh, Dante, I'm just gonna kill him here, I'm gonna play as, as safe as possible, because I do not want to lose to like random cards that could screw me over here, so I'm playing extremely safe, we use up Dr. Yuta to search a high scale, I'm gonna scale, I'm gonna pendulum summon, and there's nothing you can do. I use reflection to bounce the Fiend Griefing. Uh, I was assuming it was a Karma Cut or a Phoenix Wombat, the Dynamiscus, something along those lines, because it's really good for BA decks. I bounce it, he chains Libic. He wants to survive, so he specials out the graph. And I'm like, you know what? I don't think you're surviving, my guy. I go souls here, uh, I search another souls, and I just like have free reign here. I uh, use souls to draw one, but I still want to keep it on the field, or I draw two. I use that. I think I actually missed drawing one. I should have a fourth card in my hand right now. I use Mighty Master to blow that up. Unicorn doesn't die. So he, he's... Uh, I should have negated the Dante with my Jackal. I was scared of Nibiru. I don't know what he has. Uh, so it's actually, in retrospect, good that I didn't do that. I don't want to get Nibiru. So he could have been saving it. Uh, there's also a high chance he didn't have it because he would have done it before my Jackal came out. So there's a high chance he didn't even have Nibiru. I left it. I should have just negated the effect and go for a game, which would have been easy game. But in this scenario, I'm like... I'm killing him so easily. There's just no point. I'm going to play this a low. I'm going to let Dante stay on the field. I have like so many bounces to do on him. I special Luna. I use Luna to bounce to Dante. The only reason you don't want to use Luna as a big interruption. The idea behind Luna is this. I know that his deck only plays two Dantes, right? Well, on my turn, I'm, or imagine this is Salamangre Wolf. Imagine it's Chizuku or Kagari. Uh, you know they only play three Kagari, right? Because that's as much as you can play. Well, one is on the field. So use Luna to get rid of one on your turn. Use Luna to get rid of one on their turn. They're officially out of Kagaris for the entire duel. Just for one Luna from one turn. Like one on each turn. So that's two total Luna effects. I do the same thing here. I let him add with Dante. I don't care. I don't even go for one damage this turn. I literally just don't care. My Luna comes back from Farfa. And now I know he's absolutely done. I know he's completely out of Dante's. So it's just game over. He specials Farfa. He specials Skarm. He goes into Cherubini. I know they only play one Cherubini. I use Luna effect. Bounce. See you later. I get a card in hand. Tour guide. Negate. Enter battle to try and go into Zeus. Uh, Luna effect to bounce. I know for a fact that you don't play 3 Dante. Uh, see ya. Have a good one. Bye. Or I use Reflection to bounce the Dante. I don't even need to do that. I should have just used Luna. You guys see what I'm saying? It's insane. So even going second, we just killed them with 5 cards in hand going second. So here we're going second again. I have Reboot because I'm scared of Anti-Spell and Imperial Order. And aside from that, my hand is not the best. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is, Magister is not good by itself. It needs other cards with it. So maybe if I draw into Jackal and Master, something along those lines will be alright. He gets Cosmic, and here's where I get really screwed. So I have Garuda, and I have Red Reboot. Uh, Red Reboot clearly going to be dead for me. I, I thought he was going to play more traps, and he has an Ash Blossom. So here he has four interruptions, but my hand is not as well equipped. If I had one Fairy Tail Luna, instantly Masquerina and Beatrice are gone, and I have six cards in my mind still. Garuda popped his back row. Then I have five cards to deal with one Ash. That's easy game, and I OTK him. But I don't have the Luna, and... Garuda is going to get uh, screwed here. My reboot does nothing. So we'll see how this goes. I normal abductor instantly. And he, he's going to banish it right away. So me uh, banishing the abductor. Uh, I didn't think he'll do that right away. I didn't enter battle. I just wanted it to uh, to gain counters. Maybe that was a stupid play in my end. And you know what? It was a stupid play. I should have keep it in the scale. Because it was my low scale. So what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go Garuda to pop this. And gain two spell counters on my institution. By doing so, I can use institution to then... 
uh, I scale Magister, I scale Chronograph from the Time Gazer, and then I add a Servant, I have Scales, Crowley, and he's gonna lose even with the Masquerina Unicorn. Then I get really cucked to a Cosmic because Institution doesn't gain the counters, and then there's nothing I could have done there. If I kept the Abductor, there was a chance, but I, I cucked myself by being a little greedy, but it's okay, that hand just wasn't good enough. We're gonna go game three now. So my hand's very powerful. Well, my hand's okay. I have Cerberus, Magister, Ma uh, Master, Mighty Master with extra mastery. With, this hand is actually fantastic. This hand uh, is gonna result in a, your typical board of five negates because Crowley's gonna be able to get you a spell guaranteed with a normal summoning, and then you're gonna be able to resolve your Magister and go from there. The only problem with that is he has a fucking Droll and Lockburn. Unlucky. Cerberus effect to add a Jackal, and uh, you already know the Droll. Droll. I asked him politely, sir, can you keep this in your hand? He refused, and you know what? There's nothing I could do there. I'm like, fuck, that's just very unfortunate. I summon out the Cerberus, and I normal the Magister. Uh, why did I normal the... Oh, I normal the Magister because if he activated one spell card, like an Extravagance of Desires or whatever, Cerberus would have had the extra counter, and then I could have uh, used Magister effect to bring out Reflection, and bounce Dante, win the game. Uh, but that's how much Droll cucks you. That's how much it cucks you. If I resolve Mastery first, was there a chance? Sir? No, like there was nothing I could have done. Droll really cucks you. I do play cards to stop Droll, but Droll is really the only way you're going to lose, guys, uh, in a match. And uh, it's unfortunate. I had three cards to stop Droll, but my opponent was better than me. He opened his Droll before I opened one of my ways to stop Droll. We have the same amounts. He has three Droll, I have three ways to stop Droll. It is what it is. We're going to go to uh, match number five now. We're three and one. Uh, Droll hurts. I'm not going to lie. We need Droll out of the meta ASAP. And if Droll is a consistent part of the meta, Pendulums will not be having a good time. This is going to be the last match I'm going to showcase you guys. We 2 would all of our opponents except for our loss where we lost 2-1. So we're going to see how this one goes. Sometimes they left early because they knew they were going to get absolutely obliterated. And I don't blame them. Uh, when you enter when you enter a ring with the Pen God, I don't blame you for quitting in, in round 2, alright? I'm the motherfucking P-E-N-D. I understand. I understand. I just put up 7 negates and you want to leave early. But my boy here will not be leaving early. My boy here, Mr. Pompon. Uh, my biggest fan apparently because hey, I'm your biggest fan. Let's go I know that he's not gonna leave because he's a warrior and right? he's gonna face uh, we're gonna face through it all As you see here my deck's insane. I go institution. Yeah, actually my mastery and at the end of the day servant is it inevitable Servants inevitable with the institution build you have like way more ways to get it Especially when you're playing abductor in this deck as well, which you can search it. You're playing a bunch of ways I use mighty master. I don't pop anything because Cerberus is more than five counters So use mighty uh, on the field. So use mighty master to destroying this like trying to destroy the Cerberus. Cerberus will protect itself by its own effect, and then it, I don't have to destroy anything I control. So that's a big brain play to utilize Cerberus. I go Crowley here to search anything I would I please, and I'm gonna end up searching a Secrets. Uh, my Servant will be resolved. It didn't matter what I searched because I had Wonder Wand as well. So I'll be drawing big time here. And you guys see here just how good Wonder Wand is. It's just extremely powerful. I'm gonna save the Garuda that I could use on his turn as an interruption. Uh, and then I go Wonder Wand again, Chrono again. Like this is just, I can put up five negates here easily. What, what was my pen summon? My pen summon was just two cards, right? Like one jackal, one master. I only pen summon two monsters. One jackal and one mighty master. But this deck, it, it just spirals out of control with draws. Like one draw leads to like five draws, which leads to five summons, uh, which leads to magister resolving. I, I kept, I, I put Garuda in the scale. I think I was missing one spell card. I should have probably, or I was under Into the Void. That's why I kept it. I was under Into the Void, so I have to scale it. And then you saw there's five, six negates. He scoops. I don't know what he's playing. So it's good for him that he scooped. Because, you know, all I know is he's playing Ash. Uh, so, uh, this is my hand now. I have double Mastery, Reflection, Magister, Desires. He is an Ash. He has a, uh, basically the same hand he had before. So, we'll see how he can play around the Tri Brigade board. And uh, with what he draws. He draw gets Strike. He's going to get Revolt as well. And uh, I made a slight misplay in this game. We just could learn from my mistake. But it still ends in uh, a solid game here. So, I want to put up... Uh, I want to uh, get Infinity Counters in case he did Ash or like Solemn Judgment my Mastery. So my institution could resolve. So that's what I do. I reflection, matter. So I wait for institution in case I can find a way to set up like a mighty master play. Instantly, I go reflection, jackal. I go reflection to uh, bounce a card. He uh, Appalooza negates. Uh, I jackal negate. I think I use reflection on the Appalooza. I should have used it on a random trap, but that's fine. Uh, I want to force up the Appalooza anyway, so Appalooza is gone. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Crowley. Crowley effect here. And I'm going to go into Blue Boy Secrets Knowledge. And then I'm going to... Uh, normal summon now this is where i make a slight mistake uh i was very greedy with this but because uh, it was a 50 50 good play 50 50 bad play you never want to take 50 50 good plays 50 50 bad plays uh because it's just low chance of being a good play you want the 100 percent good play bro like you want a high chance 
Anyway, so the play here is Cerberus effect. So I use Cerberus, I should search Jackal. If I go Jackal to special another Cerberus, I now have a gigantic field of Crowley, Jackal, Cerberus, Magister, and that's enough to put so much damage on board. I banish the Fractal with the Cerberus I bring out, and then I literally just go straight for game. He goes, he has to activate Revolt, he banishes a random card, and I'm left with like five cards to kill him with. Uh, so that was my mistake. But what I do is I search for Garuda to pop a card. The biggest issue with that is if Garuda pops the Revolt, it's useless, it's rendered useless because it just chained the Revolt bring out his card, my Jackal will already use its effect, and he'll just banish it. So this is my mistake, I should have used uh, Goth Cerberus, because you can use Revolt regardless. Uh, but I did this thinking 50-50 if I hit the back or I don't know, which was, so I was stupid, because I hit the Revolt, and this is gonna cock me big time. Uh, I didn't use the, yeah, so I use that, it gets hit. I didn't use the Jackal I brought out with Magister, but it's gonna be chain blocked anyways, I chain blocked the last card. Uh, and then he banishes the Magister, he solemn strikes my souls for draw two, I'm like, Damn, bro. <laughs> Damn, that uh, that strike really killed me there. So we could say that I was definitely a little greedy, but that's all right. I'm going to go into Selene here. I'm going to pop the Fractal and main phase two. I'm going to go Luna for my hand. I know he plays another and I know he's going to search another, but I need these gone. I, I don't want it on the field. I think this is my best play. Um, maybe I should have done and maybe I should have done another play. Maybe I should have reflection. You know what? That, that was the play I should have done. I Actually, no. This is fine. Because if I go into Reflection or if I pop this... No, I can't go into Reflection because I went into it this turn. Yeah, so I can't go into Reflection this turn. I could have Reflection... Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I would have lost if I did that. Oh, okay. I know the play what I had to do. This is what I had to do. I could have won this game. So I go... I go Selene, bring a Luna. And then on the main phase one, after he activates one card... Because uh, this says special summon. So if he normal summons one of these, doesn't get its effect right away. And he only had one card. And then I should have bring up reflection effect to bounce this. The second he did one play. And as soon as that play was over, I should have Luna. If you look at his graveyard, my Luna could bounce any of these back. So that's what I should have done. What I did instead is I Luna in the standby to get rid of that. He can't imprint because of that. I instantly summon a reflection. Uh, sorry, I instantly summon out Luna to bounce a fractal knowing he has none, none left. And I just get cocked because he has a KRS in hand as well. Uh, I bounced the Keras. I had another one, so it was my fault. I, I could have played that one a little better, but it's not over yet. He still has to kill me, and I have a Luna, and he's out of extra deck cards, so he might get his cards he needs. He might get a Zeus here, but you're gonna see just how powerful this Luna is. So I want everyone to look at this play, okay? So what I do here is I normal summon Luna. He chain, he activate him from right away, and I chain Luna's effect to bounce back to my hand. He could have chained the Zeus if he wanted to to, to bounce the Zeus back, but he opted not to. And then, uh, so that's gone, and this is back in my hand, and I have another Luna in my hand. Now I just need a high scale with the effect of the, with the draw of desires, and the game's over. And I draw into Jackal, so nothing left. I just need to survive. He draws Nibiru. I need a high scale Allure, and I know this is a high scale for a fact. I have three Luna. I should have normal Luna first, but it's fine. Link, normal, attack for game, negate Nibiru with Jackal, with counters. That's the game. That's the duels. Five matches for you guys. 25 minute video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to showcase you guys the deck profile right now, super fast. So let's get into it. This is the deck I was using to go four and one. Uh, in total, my, my record on Dueling Book Raider right now is not that good. It's like, I don't know, maybe like 10 wins and three losses. Two of those losses are Droll and Lockbird. One of those losses, I made a misplay. So that's good for me. What? Why? I'll tell you why. You want to look at your losses and know why you lost. Did I lose because the deck wasn't good enough? Did I lose because I made a mistake? Because if you make a mistake, that's great. That means you could fix that mistake. I know what my mistake was. I didn't go for a game because I was scared of Nibiru. So since I was scared of, of Nibiru, I'm like, okay, next time, if I have game and I just need to kill, go for game or I lose next turn, I go for it. And Droll, there's nothing you can do about Droll aside from prepare for it a little more. As you guys see here, I have three drag down into the grave. Maybe that might not be enough. Maybe I'm going to include a fourth called by the grave or an instant fusion just to protect myself from Droll because it's really the only way you're going to lose. So maybe I'm going to play more. But like, card, like The reason why drag down is so good, you could draw a card as well. And if you draw a card, you can consider drag down like this. Dragon is like an upstart goblin, give you a spell counter, give you a draw, and you can get rid of a droll. And as far as discarding a card, you could discard a reflection, jackal, or master, or luna, then you just special back with Selene anyways. So Dragon is not that bad. It's only bad when they draw it to droll. That would be insanely bad, but 
Aside from that, I played. I, I think I played very well in like my 13 matches on Dueling Book, and I'll continue playing a lot in Rated. So if you guys like Pendulums, hop onto my streams when I do them. I will be playing a lot of Pendulum on stream soon, so go check it out. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments. Put me under this video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, check out TripGaming.com for the sickest match. It's got some new in stock, so check it out right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!